What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified of all the latest content as and when it drops on the channel. Make sure you put that notification bell on all and subscribe if you're new. Um, so let's get into this one. The, some news I just heard about today, which is that Frank Warren in Queens, his, uh, Queensbury Promotions uh, there, as many of you will know, uh, if you're British fans especially, Frank Warren and his Queensbury Promotions, they have a deal with uh, TNT Sports. And um, that's a sort of a, a British, mainly the boxing content comes on over here in Britain. And um, yeah, he's been with them for a while. They used to be with BT. And now the big news is that they're going to be, um, Warren and his company are going to now be they're linked to a move to the zone. So now rather than their fights being televised on TNT Sports, um, they're as of I believe it's next year is when um, this whole move is, is um, planned to take place because next year 2025 is when the, the TNT contract runs out. So um, they're going to be they're linked to this move now with the zone. Um, for me personally, looking at it, I think it's it for all intents and purposes, it it looks to be a, a good move. Immediately, as a fan, I think of um, it as a good thing because of the fact that now you can get, you know, Matram and Queensbury, although they're they're rivals, and you know, lately they've been working together and everything. Um, I think it it will be a good thing because you get you'll get the. Queensbury shows and Matchroom shows on the same platform and they'll they'll probably won't clash with the dates and you know you'll get certain days where it's Queensbury, certain days where it's Matchroom, certain times with Golden Boy or even Golden Boy could be on the same day but obviously different time you know time difference so yeah it, it's for me it's a it seems like a good move because you get now two the two biggest promoters in this country onto one platform where their fights are all being shown on one broadcast platform um so i i see that as a good thing um however down the line what this may mean for the future if um the saudis you know if if turkey al sheikh if he sort of unifies now he's got these two if if all the promoters sort of jump onto the zone i don't know how that's gonna work out but um yeah, because it might be just a whole monopoly sort of thing. And yeah, I, I think this move, at least from what it seems, will be a good one for us as fans because you get everything in, in one platform, get everything in one place. And um, it brings more sort of unity to to the sport, you know, over here in the UK. And if you're, if you're already a DAZN subscriber, then I think it's great news for you because you'll just get... You know you'll get a lot you get a lot for your money anyway but now you're going to get more for your money and um i i also hope that this will um you know with this collaboration we'll have less pay-per-views i don't know if that's a possibility but um yeah well so as i said this is just a bit of breaking news here queen's rejoining the zone um obviously it's not due to happen till next year um, so I'm sure more information will will come out um, as time goes on. Let me know your thoughts about this. What do you think about this merger, this collaboration, where we'll now have a lot of the big promoters, uh, the two biggest in this country on the same platform, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, and not to mention Golden Boy Promotions as well. So three of the biggest in the world you never know we might get ben shalom's boxer in the future we might get top rank and all that sort of stuff so let me know what you think about this merger i for one think on the surface at least it looks like a good thing um because you get all the boxing you know more, pretty much all the boxing over here onto a good onto one platform and what becomes of tnt next year that'll be interesting to see Will they stay in the sport of boxing? Will they work with other promoters? You know, will they work with the smaller guys, as others have said, like Hatman said, will they work with small hall promoters? As, um, you know, when Frank Warren and them leave, or, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens, but that's just the news there. BT, sorry, uh, Warren and 
and his company now go to the zone. Let me know your thoughts and until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.